Three students from Old Miss have been suspended from their fraternity and might face even more consequences after posting an absolutely horrendous photo of them posing in front of a sign memorializing Emmett Till. And we're gonna we're gonna show you the picture. And we're gonna talk about their particular case. But before we get to that. Just in case you don't know about that story and why what you're going to see is so horrendous, we do want to fill you in on just a little bit of the details of this incredibly tragic moment in America's past. Back in 1955, 14 year old Emmett Till left Chicago to spend the summer with relatives near Money, Mississippi. Till went to a country store and encountered a white woman named Carol Bryant, who alleged that Till grabbed her and whistled at her. The woman's husband, Roy Bryant, and his half brother kidnapped the boy. Till's mutilated body, beaten, shot, and weighed down with a 74 pound cotton gin fan was found in the Tallahatchie River soon after. Now that is absolutely horrendous. The fact that those two men who kidnapped and murdered this 14 year old child got off after virtually no trial and then gleefully admitted that they had done it shortly thereafter is terrible as well. It's just a horrendous moment. Um, now, the fact that he died in such a horrific way and his mother's choice to display his body in an open casket so that people would be forced to see the reality that is so often hidden and certainly was back in the 1950s um, helped to spur a movement to stop that sort of thing. Uh, but it's horrendous and you would hope that people will have learned the right lesson coming out of it. But as we're gonna show you, clearly uh, some have not. Before we get to the actual picture, um, I mean, this is this is Ole Miss and it's Kappa Alpha uh, members. That puts a certain context on what's gonna happen. So a lot of people when they think frats think just a racist group of white guys hanging out. Um, and KA among fraternities is known as the particularly racist one. And you are, a, I'm not, I'm a, never frat a fraternity boy. member, but you were. I was in a fraternity, some facts about fraternities. I know that Stanford's KA was the first integrated, racially integrated KA in the United States. Um, for example, the KA at USC in Southern California, is off campus because it's not allowed to be on campus anymore. And they paint a Mason Dixon line on the front porch. Mason Dixon line separating the North and South in the you know Civil War era. Yeah. Uh, that, that is it. It is the the inspiring, if you click on, if you go to the, the KA website, the KA website, it talks about their, their inspiration and the person on whom the entire yeah. fraternity is founded, and it's Robert E. Lee. Um, Just to give you an idea. And, and this takes place at Ole Miss, mm -hmm. the rebels. Yes, and so and one more bit of context, just because we were talking about this for the show. If Emmett Till had not been kidnapped and murdered by these white supremacists, he would be 78 years old. And so you you hear the story and you think, well, that was a really long time ago. Kind of, if he were alive and he were running for president, he would barely be the oldest. Actually, it wasn't that long ago that this happened. It's long enough that you would hope that people, that we would have progressed. But for some people, we haven't. And so now we turn to the picture. Here is the picture they got those three students suspended from their fraternity. Those are three grinning, gleeful college students posing with a variety of different firearms in front of a memorial sign that itself has been shot up. We don't know if they shot it or if they just posed with guns in front of a sign that other racists shot at. Because this happens all the time. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through the history actually, we do have that. I just wanna say very quickly, so Ben LeClear, how did we find out about this? Posted the picture on John Lowe's, two of the individuals in the picture, birthday. With the message, quote, one of Memphis's finest and the worst influence I've ever met. That's half true, I guess perhaps. But eventually ProPublica and another investigative group were able to get the photo. It was eventually removed after the Mississippi Center for Investigative Reporting and ProPublica began contacting fraternity members and friends. And this is just the cap on the whole thing. It received 274 likes that they decided, you know what, this, uh, this sign memorializing uh, one of the darkest individual moments. Uh, we're gonna pose in front of it with guns because we think that that's funny. And literally hundreds of people were like, yes, I like this. This just goes to further distance people mentally from what actually is happening at any given point. Mm -hmm. So they are in a fraternity, they're looking around. He says, this is one of the worst influences I've ever met. It's like, 
But but he's fine with that. He gleefully mm -hmm. posts pictures of it and I know this dynamic. This is the dynamic where people hang out mm -hmm. and because no one's really calling out what's actually happening, they get to just happily do it. Mm -hmm. And what's frustr what we have to do, the onus is on us essentially, sadly, to call out this is actually terrible. Yeah. This was a 14 year old kid who was murdered. The people who did it were acquitted and then later got paid $4,000 in an interview mm -hmm. back in 1950 whatever, which was a lot of money to admit it. To admit it. And then live the rest of their life free of any consequences whatsoever. Uh, and so, um, I mean, the whole thing is just terrible. I, I mean, those three individuals being so confident that, like, yeah, everybody I know likes this sort of thing. It's not gonna be a big deal or whatever. Uh, hypothetically, there is a fourth person because, of course, unless they set up a tripod, somebody was holding that camera. Uh, we don't know who that person was. Um, they had the good sense to not be in the picture at the very least. That's about as far as their sense goes. Um, but I just there's one more little detail that we alluded to, and that's the history of this particular sign. Let alone all the other horrible details, and we could we could talk for a long time about it. I just want you to bear in mind when you hear uh, Republican pundits and Republican politicians say that America is not a racist society. It never was, but it certainly isn't now because uh, we elected a black president. I mean, just. This one sign's experience, bear this in mind. So vandals threw the first sign in the river. They tore it down, they threw it in the river. The second sign was blasted with over 300 bullets or shotgun pellets before the Emmett Till Memorial Commission officials removed it. A third sign, that's the one featured in the Instagram photo, already had 10 bullet holes in it before it was taken down last week. A fourth sign is being designed to better withstand the attacks that we all know will come. We now need bulletproof memorials in America because we know what's coming. So just remember that when you hear people saying that, come on, we like to Barack Obama, we're good. Make it bigger and bigger and bigger every time and stronger and stronger and stronger every mm -hmm. time. Um, I agree. I just, he, they were suspended from KA, not from, I mean, from yes. the reports. They were suspended by their fraternity, but not by Old Miss. Mm -hmm. Old Miss says this is kind of outside, it wasn't on campus, what can we do? But what do we expect from a university that continues to go by the mascot, the rebels? And it looks like a, it is a Confederate soldier is their mascot. Mm -hmm. So what yeah. are you gonna expect? Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.